Hey, what's going on guys? So you, some of you might be watching this video because you're wondering why your Godex X2TS wireless trigger is not working after you did a firmware update. Um, you probably bricked it. So there's two versions of the firmware uh, you need to be uh, careful about when you're trying to flash this. So as you can see, mine doesn't work. Some of you might have this issue now when you turn it on. Nothing happens anymore. Um, that's because the firmware that you've installed is not the correct one. There's two versions. There's the regular one and then there's the Z version. Okay, so some of you might have the Z on the side. Of course, I do not anywhere. Maybe if we bring that up close, you don't see the Z anywhere. But if you look up here, you don't see the Z anywhere as well. But if you look at the battery cover, Looking like this, you won't see it, but if you tilt it, you might be, yeah, there it is. You could see the Z01 right there. Okay, I I know it's a little difficult to read, but it is there, so look carefully on your device if you have the Z. If you have the Z, then good news, we can still fix this. So we wanna go back to the Godox website and we wanna download the Z1.4 update. You also want to download the Godox firmware software uh, update application. Once you do that, some of you are probably going to realize that once you plug this into your computer, it still won't turn on. Take the batteries out and then plug it in. Once you plug it in, you'll hear a sound. That means it's working. As long as the software picks up that it's connected, we can reflash it and it'll turn on. Once you do the update with the Z software, uh, firmware, sorry, disconnect your uh, trigger and it'll turn on. And that's it. Let me know if you have questions.